Welcome to Kimmel's Irishpub.com. Time for another movie review. As you know, this movie is Mom and Dad. Um, so, one of them I found, you know, just searching around on the internet for the next movie to watch that's available to watch in the comfort of my own home. Um, and this one stars Nicolas Cage and Selma Blair. And basically, they are parents who something, some, something causes them to uh, turn violent against their kids. That's the synopsis. Didn't watch the trailer, um, didn't read any more than that. I, I started to look at the reviews um, on IMDb. I believe this is getting a 5.8 or something of that nature. And um, so very low ratings on it. And uh, let me just get those numbers for you real quick here. Yeah, 5.8 on IMDb. But as I read through them all, it was uh, you know up and down. People love it, people hate it. So I think it's all about your perspective on the movie and going into it with an open mind. So for me, I'm going into it knowing it's a horror comedy. So don't take it too seriously, and it might just be fun. Um, they say it might be a little disturbing, so I'm not excited about that. Um, the Rotten Tomatoes, 75% from the critics, they like it. 75% um, fresh, and 53% for the audience. Uh, so it should be pretty interesting. We'll see what we get here. It's an hour and 23 minutes long. And uh, I'll start watching it and give you more information as we get going. All right, stick around. Hey, everybody. I want to do a quick check-in here. We're at the 46 minute and 33 second mark um, of Mom and Dad. And, you know, the synopsis is, is pretty accurate. Um, the, it's a pretty interesting movie because, again, so basically the parents turn on their children, become violent. It's kind of uh, like that... Uh, Mark Wahlberg movie, The Happening, kind of in a sense. They just sh shift, and you don't know what's causing it or anything like that. But uh, you know all the and the interesting is they're going after their own kids. So they're not going after kids in general. They only go after their own kids. They're not interested in the other ones. So um, interesting concept there. I, I made me think like I wonder how far up that goes. Like you know if it's your kid, no matter how old you're. Like if uh, you know. If my dad came out, would he come after me in a sense? Or is it just like, uh, you know, teenage kids? Because that's all they're showing is teenage kids. But, you know, and there are some disturbing type things. So not not over the top. And I'll give you the opening scene just so you get a sense of it. Because I don't want you to get into something you don't know. Um, so the opening scene is a mother drives her car onto the train tracks with a kid in the back. And then gets out of the car. So you don't see anything, but it's implied what's going to happen. A train comes kind of thing. And that's like starting the whole news thing. Um, another scene, again, mainly with babies. One girl's pregnant, and she has her baby, and she's great. And then static comes on the TV. So it seems like static on the TV sim symbolizes the, the turning point. Um, but then, you know, she immediately wants to harm that baby. And, uh, you know, it gets very intense right there. It's like, I'm, oh, I don't want to see it. Um, so they're the types of things that, that might be a little disturbing to some, including me. Um, but just so you're forewarned warned if you decide to watch this. Um, and, but then the other interesting aspect of it is like the, the different camera angles. I'll give you an example. You know, it's not just shot normally. I mean, it is shot for the, for the normal sense. But they take different angles um, on individual shots. So there's a scene where Selma Blair is just drinking coffee. And it's like, you know, a longer pause kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's just still, not a still shot of her, but just her just drinking coffee. And it's like from up here. You know, a good shot, but it was interesting. Like the way that, you know, normally you see somebody drinking coffee, just like I am here, you know. But they kind of try to get like artsy in a sense. And then the, the soundtrack behind it was like, like classical type music. It was, I don't know how to exactly explain it. Um, and then there's another scene like that where they're in the car and um, the, the soundtrack to the, you really have to hear it. It's, it's like very interesting on what they're doing. So I, I thought, I think it's pretty neat the way that they're doing that. It's an interesting concept. The one bad part is some of the disturbing things that are happening, anything that's involving kids. But so far, that's what's going on. Uh, Nicholas Cage and, and Selma Blair have two kids. Uh, one's a teenager, one's a younger guy. They also have a house, um, a, a, like a maid, I guess, or house cleaner. And she has a daughter there, too. So, you know, she gets infected by whatever it is. Um, and then now Nicholas Cage and his wife, I think, are going to start to get impacted here and start going after their own kids. So... Um, 
And that's what's happening going all over the place. Not much more to tell you about that, but uh, I think I got a good synopsis. Um, there's only 36 minutes left in this movie, so um, I'll watch it a little bit longer. I'll probably not check in again. I'll see you at the credits. All right? I'll be back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're at the credits of Mom and Dad. There's not much more I really can share with you. Um, I can't say I'll give you my score. I'm probably going to give it a six. It was looking pretty good for a while. You know, six to a five almost, but I'll keep it at a six. It was a really interesting concept. I liked the way the, the film was kind of done. You know, it was different, and I liked that. You know, I get it. It was like a dark comedy, that horror comedy, like The Babysitter and things like that. <clears throat> you know, there was some uh, disturbing type pieces that were close to disturbing. Nothing really, really bad over the top. It's just inferring in a sense that it's going to be really bad so they don't show anything but you get the idea you know and and that thing but then and like if maybe if you rent the dvd not that i would recommend renting a, a movie like this but uh if you would like I, I, amazon prime is where i got it so i'm wondering if there's alternate endings because i was pretty disappointed in in the ending of this now you know, the, mo the movie, was, like I said, was interesting. Nothing great, nothing over the top. I did like Selma Blair's character, like the way she played. You know, I think you know, Cruel Intentions is probably the last movie I saw her in. Hated her in that. And I never thought I'd like her in anything ever again. <clears throat> but she was decent in this. Um, and Nicolas Cage, kind of, you know, quirky in a sense. I mean, obviously, they both flip and become, you know, violent parents. Um, that's the plot of the movie. But, uh, you know, I thought it, it was, they had something there, but I think they blew the ending, at least for me. Um, and so that's why I'm giving it a six, teetering on a five for that. Um, there was some other parts. I mean, they, they made some, some funny things, like, you know, as the action's going on and, and um, you know, all the, the violence that is going on, they, they had a little, you know, comedic relief there, I think. You know, it was funny. Um, but, you know, nothing else was laugh out loud. It was just absurd. And the one thing, like, they, they have the kids in the basement, and then they, they start pumping gas into the basement. Great idea. But then they cut the door open to go down. I, I didn't understand that. I thought they just let the gas do its job. Whatever. Um, so, just a little flaw, but nothing major, except for the ending. The ending was, was the big flaw there for me. So, uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh, and it answered my question. My earlier question was, I wonder how high up the ranks it goes if it's you know your mom and dad doesn't matter how old you are they answer that so that's in here and i don't, don't want to reveal that or anything like that and just in case you decide to watch it or you're up late at one at night and it's on um got nothing to go after it's only an hour and 23 minutes so you don't lose too much time on this movie um and you never know like i said if it's on a dvd they have an alternate ending it could be better it could make a, a jump at least it would for me but that's it that's uh, my review for Mom and Dad. Thanks for tuning in. If you watched it to the end, love to hear some comments. Let me know. I did it again with the, the camera, the, the good camera. Um, and, you know, even how my post-production skills are coming along. I'd love to hear anything. Um, but, at most of all, as long as you're watching. All right. Thanks. KimmelsIrishPub.com.